Oh, hey, this is Elliot Olson, uh, lead designer on MX First ATV Alive um, here at uh, THQ Digital Studios Phoenix. And we're kind of giving you a look at all aspects of what it makes Alive um, such a badass game. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a lot, what kind of what goes on with the physics. You hear me in a lot of different stuff talk about how we've updated things or how we've smoothed things out. And um, But we never really actually talked about what that actually means to the game and, and how we go about it. So, um, yeah, I'll show you some of what that is. <laughs> for, for Reflex, you know, we kind of went through and had a whole new physics engine. This time, you know, building upon that and the controls and how our bikes and stuff run, we wanted to smooth everything out. And what that means is, is basically making the controls better, and not as twitchy, um, a lot more solid. For the core users, it's more about like being able to put the bike where you want it use your brakes, use your seat bounce and whatnot. And then for the new players, it just made things simpler for them to control the bike, not get spun around, and that's where we have our assists and everything else. So one of the ways that we do that, especially when we're talking about how the 125 is different from a 250F, which is different from a 450F, um, we basically have this tool um, that I use, and what's really cool about that is um, I have all these parameters that I can change gravity, for example, uh, the suspension, how stiff the suspension is, um, what the rebound does for the vehicle. But we also, if you remember back to when I was talking about reflex, we started with a real bike and made a real simulation and so that made things really simple. I can go into the engine page or the drivetrain and look at all the gear ratios and they match up to something that's on a real bike. Or if I'm going into the engine and looking at the torque curves and how they all match up for the horsepower versus RPM. Um, they're pretty close to what a real dyno would be for that type of bike. And so that's basically where we start. And then um, myself, other people in the studio, things that we've learned in the past, we'll go through and kind of tweak things to either make them fun, make them easier to control. Um, we'll get a lot of feedback from like checkers and some of the track designer guys here about, you know, hey, I really want to be able to make this jump or this thing's bouncing weird off of this. And so we'll sit here with this tool and just basically play the game all day and start tweaking and, and spinning numbers on stuff. Um, even sometimes I'll mess with them and tell them I changed something, I didn't really change something, just to see if they notice the difference. They get, a, they, well, not so much a kick out of that, but it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean, that's really what a lot of it, what a lot of it is about when you're, when you're dealing with physics is just playing the game, getting it to respond to what you want it to do, make sure that it gets over the whoops the right way or over jumps, um, how it lands. You know, we got to go through and tune when you should wreck, when you shouldn't wreck, um, the wreck avoidance stuff when that comes up, and um, just basically balancing out the game. We also have uh, the stock versus modified parts for this game. So I actually had to go through and set up different physics files. One that would create something you would get from like a showroom, for example, for a bike, for a stock bike. And then when you add all the parts, different physics files for those to modify, like you get an, end, uh, an exhaust, you know, it's going to bring up your bottom end a little bit on your engine, or if you get new suspension, it's going to change the springs and the valving a little bit to make it better or more plush. Um, same with the chassis, in case you want to throw bigger whips and scrubs. So a lot of it just goes in from that base and then builds up from there. So uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so when we go from reflex into a live and we're looking at updating things or making things better, there's always challenges. and. Um, I don't know, I guess for for refle or for Alive, the challenge really was coming down to like, how do we make the bikes better? How do we make them perform how you expect them to perform? And then on top of all the other changes we made, like scaling the tracks down and um, updating the deformation. So immediately when we scaled the tracks down, we had to look at how fast our bikes were, how far they could jump, how much seat bounce you got, um, how the clutch worked and so basically had to re-go through everything, rebalance out stuff and um, as these guys are building tracks we're constantly tweaking things. So you know it gets to be a challenge. The other side of it was too is making sure that when you have a, another part of that challenge when you're doing the physics especially now that we have a stock bike versus modified it's really important that when you put parts on your bike that they make a difference and that you can feel it and so a lot of work had to go in balancing all that out because it's obviously really easy to make the bike jump 300 feet but that's not really what we wanted and so basically created a stock bike first and got our minimum performance that we want out of the bikes that was still fun 
and then from there worked on building up all the different parts. And so there was a lot going back and forth with that and what what uh, the end result became. Um, we're all super stoked with what it is now, but it's definitely a challenge because you have a lot of different people that play a lot of different ways, and our tracks are all different. And so you got to find that 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 nice balance between everything. So it, it's pretty crazy. All right, so. We get a lot of questions about scrubs and whips and stuff. And you know, just going through the parts and the skills, it's definitely a lot more control into throwing scrubs and whips and throwing the bike over sideways. Basically for a scrub, you throw both the sticks over one direction right before you take off and that lets you hit stuff a lot faster and but keeps you lower, so that's really cool. And then whips are really just a style thing and just how you manipulate the controls um, lets you throw the bike around kind of all different kinds of styles. And so when you get your bike all upgraded up and then if you want to get the scrub master skill put in there that's really going to let you throw the bike around and it really just comes down to the track because on some jumps that are really soft the guy's just going to kind of lean over and then you get up on stuff that's really steep and the, the guy's going to get pretty sick like he gets all sideways and half upside down so it's cool for a lot of people because you know it looks cool but at the same time there's definitely a technique to it and it will help you go faster if you really get it down and learn when to do it and when not to do it. If you over scrub something it's just like the real life, you're, like you're going to hit your head pretty hard. Um, so yeah, scrub wisely. Alright so we've talked a lot about what seat, seat bounce and having that in the game and what that means. It's not our traditional preload. You know you can hit a jump normal and it goes a certain distance. Um, basically all you do is pull back on the reflex stick off the face of the jump and that will give you a little bit more distance. If you actually pull back and there's a click on the stick, that will actually give you the full amount and where you can see in that case he actually got over the jump. Um, so while you play our tracks, you're going to have to learn to jump normal, when to use just pull back and when to use both the pull back and the click to really kind of find your lines of the track and keep your speed going. So there's a technique involved with it and it fits right in with all of our rider skills as well. You know, if you need to have the rider skills for clutching or for scrubbing, um, or I guess if you're a wrecker, you're going to want the one that gets you up faster. So we got one of those in for you too. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot of depth in the game on how you can have your control and um, go. So the good guys are probably going to turn the assists off and start earning their skills. And the people that are just picking up the game for the first time are going to have some pretty fun go with the physics and how you can control it a lot easier and then the assist to help them around the corners and with jumping. So.